Hey you guys, this is me Joshua once again, and I'm here to talk about X-Men Apocalypse again, but I'm going into spoiler territory this time. I'm going to talk about more of what I want, uh, what the, uh, the pros and talk about the cons I have with this movie. And this is going to be interesting. So now let's, let's start off with the pros. Again, now the now the story. The, the I think Brian Singer and the writers they did a good job with the story. The story could have been improved in some parts, and but for what they had to do, the story was. I think the dialogue in here is well written. I like the chemistry between Jean Grey and Cyclops and how they can't control their powers I thought that was pretty awesome it was pretty well handled in this film and I really thought that it was really well done with the script writing the script writing has improved over since the X-Men movie so yeah it's kind of awesome to see that again but yeah it's kind of fun to see it again um Sophie Turner is Jean Grey. For the longest time, I doubt she would not be great. But after seeing the movie, I thought she was pretty good as Jean Grey. She, and we got to see the Firebird again this time, which there may be a possibility that they may do, do the Phoenix story again. We, I like the Phoenix story in X Men: The Last Stand, but. The only way I could see the Dark Phoenix saga being made is that they split into two films. Don't do what X Men: The Last Stand did, even though I love that movie. Um, I like the cast: Ty Sheridan as Cyclops. He's awesome. He really feels like he gets some screen time here. He's not just in there just to have him be in there. He he's not the leader yet, but he does feel like he's leading the X Men as we speak <laughs> and I thought the relationship between him and Lucas Till was great and that was kinda cool um, Michael Fassbender as Magneto he's one of the four horsemen of apocalypse and it's awesome it's awesome uh, it's very amazing seeing Michael Fassbender come back in the film Quicksilver I still I love the scene in Days of Future Past, his scene, but I think they really did did it even more awesome here with the scene here with the song. He's saving everyone out of the mansion, the mansion gets blown up, and then he thinks he saves everyone, but spoiler. Cyclops' brother Havoc, who's played once again by Lucas Till, he dies in this movie. And from the blast that happens the explosion um so yeah the four horsemen i i like the four horsemen it was very cool is seeing seeing them again seeing them you got storm famine death um uh resistance and magneto is um Magneto is, uh, he's war, and the the acting is great. Um, Jennifer Lawrence as Mystique was awesome. She seen as a hero. She doesn't. She's not in the blue makeup for a majority of the movie. She's in her Jennifer Lawrence form, which that was surprising. People say that she didn't want to do, be there. She looked like she was having fun. She's having fun as a character. James McAvoy as Professor X. 
this is his best the best performance I've seen him in, in the first class movies and this is the third film in the first class trilogy so yeah James McAvoy as Charles Xavier Professor X I thought he was great and it was cool seeing him finally become the Professor X I know from the original X-Men trilogy where his head is shaved but that doesn't happen until the end of the movie and one of the posters shows him bald and I thought that he was gonna have his hair be bald in somewhere between the second act and the third act of the movie but it's not until the very last shot of the film where you see him in the original chair in the original suit and they recite lines from Magneto says doesn't it awake you that he's coming from that well somebody will come one day for you and your children and then the next movie 1990s Deuce's ultimate alternate timeline I would love to see a younger version of Rogue and more more new mutants it's awesome Olivia Munn as Psylocke oh my god Olivia Munn as Psylocke she's hot She's great. My only issue with her character, or some, or Storm, or Angel, is that they don't get a whole lot of development. But there's there's future films because 20th Century Fox they have a 20 year development movie thing with X Men, and Oscar Isaac is Apocalypse is great. He's so unrecognizable, boy. I, I can tell that it's not his voice. The makeup, he's great. When he's delivering the line, he says in the trailer, everything they built will fall, and from the ashes we will build a better world. <laughs> and, and Nightcrawler, Cody Smith McPhee was awesome. And, and yes, he's sort of the comic relief in this movie. So yeah, Cody Smith McPhee is Nightcrawler. He was awesome. Well, I was impressed with Jean Grey. I do have to point out that I was Famke Johnson. She was disappointed that she didn't get asked to do this movie because the, I would have liked to see a scene with both Jean Grey, Sophie Turner, and Famke Johnson, like in X Men: Days of Future Past. And the musical score by John Ottman is great. The special effects was was great the action sequences especially the action scene at the end just full on force it's awesome and that and one more pro I have to say the score is awesome and Hugh Jackman is Wolverine the cameo appearance he's uncredited is awesome and in the weapon X you see him killing all the soldiers and Jean Grey gives him some of his memory back and he knows that one day they're gonna like fall. They're gonna fall in love. As but this is an alternate timeline. As an X Men: Days of Future Past said that X Men: The Last Stand never happened. Even though movie order it does it did happen. But yeah, his cameo appearance was awesome, and she frees him. Now I do have to point. Now, as much as I love this movie, I have to go into what I didn't like, which I have to go to the the cons of this movie, my issues with this film. Apocalypse motivation is kind of is like we've seen it before, been there and done that, where the villain wants to destroy the world build, create a better one we've seen it in multiple superhero movies like Avengers Age of Ultron Batman v Superman all these superhero movies that we've seen in and it, I didn't have a problem with Oscar Isaac as Apocalypse his makeup looks pretty awesome but most of the makeup is a little off and yeah, I'm willing to see Oscar Isaac in the next Star Wars movie. But I love him more as Poe and as Apocalypse. He does he does give a great performance. But his motivations is sorta of lacking in this film. Yeah. Um now why is William Stryker in this movie? You spoiled it in the trailers. You don't spoil that in your trailers. Just like you spoiled that at the end of the movie, Xavier's gonna go bald. You don't do that in trailers. I think it would have been better if they did not show it in the trailers that Xavier was gonna 
have his hair shaved off. But what can you do? Um, issue another issue I have is that this movie does get a little slow in between the thirty, thirty, in between a few minutes, um, and the part where Magneto's family gets shot is all uh, is very upsetting and he's very hurt. But I that was a little bit too over the top when he just screaming with all the dust. Turning Mel into dust when he meets sees Apocalypse. Um, I do wish that Psylocke Angel was developed a little more, even because and they kill Angel in this movie. Um, a lot of the destruction is a little bit too much, but this is X Men. This is a superhero movie, so what can you expect? There's going to be a lot of destruction, ah, explosions and fire and explosions. The fight between Beast and Psylocke was awesome, even though I wish Psylocke and Beast would say something throughout the fight. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, this movie is 2 hours and 24 minutes long. The movie, yeah, it does drag on for a little bit, but it didn't take me to the point where I had the movie. You know what I'm saying? Um, and... Some of the dialogue is a little bit, a little bit cliched, but don't worry. And people is complaining that this timeline is messed up. Yes, the X Men movies have a confusing timeline, but hey, it's X Men. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Um, Xavier and Mora, Mora, they do have a relationship at the end of the movie. The post credit scene. It's, I'm like with Weapon X it was cool but we didn't need it so yes X-Men Apocalypse is not as great as Days of Future Past it's certainly not as great as First Class but it's, it's definitely not as great as the first two X-Men movies even X-Men The Last Stand which is a movie I like but everyone else hates but it's way better than X-Men Origins Wolverine do I think it's better than Deadpool? Uh, I don't know. But, because Deadpool, yes, am I, so is this a perfect movie? No. Is this Grey's Days Future Past? No. But it's still a great movie, and it's plenty of fun to be had. Rotten Tomatoes is giving this movie for a 9. Saying that overloaded action and a cliche villain takes the focus away from otherwise strong performances and reasonable themes, making X Men Apocalypse a middling chapter of the venerable superhero franchise. Yeah, I've seen a lot of hate reviews and I've seen a lot of good reviews, and I like the people who say they love the movie. It's fine if you hate the movie, that's fine. But, Ryan Tomatoes, this movie does not deserve a 49%. Just like Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice does not deserve a 27 freaking percent. Ryan Tomatoes, get, you need to get your act together. And stop, met, stop giving comic book movies that were anticipated for bad ratings. I know it's just an opinion, but hey, critics, make up your mind what you want to see. I still go by what I say with X-Men Apocalypse, I, my three ratings, Epic Tastic, my Rainbow Seal of Approval, and Better Than Vampire, Watching Vampire Diaries. Because I can take this movie and a whole lot of movies that I gave in the Better Than Vampire Diaries rating over Vampire Diaries any day of the week. So let me know in the comments below what you think of X-Men Apocalypse. Do you like it? Do you hate it? And what is your least favorite and your favorite X-Men movie. I'll see you guys for the X-Men ranking. Wait, I just forgot. I still have the Wolverine's review. Yeah.